What's up, peeps? My peeps here. Today we got a Pod Mod 160 watt Pod Mod Dual 18650 from Smoke Smock. The RPM 160. The ultimate Pod Mod. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. Let me show you guys everything about this. We'll come back, vape on it, and then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the RPM 160. And here's the packaging the RPM160 by Smoke Smock comes in. Inside the packaging, you will get your user manual, battery safety card, and a warranty card, a micro USB charging cable for Steve's collection, and two coils. All right, both coils got the same stats RPM160, their mesh coils, 0.15 resistance, 40 to 90 watts, best is 70 to 80 watts. And you could see with this coil here should be the same stats. And these are some pretty big coils. Just to give you a perspective between the coils, this one here is the regular RPM mesh coil, like the RPM 80 one. And you could see a little difference between these two. Just a massive coil. And here is the device right here, the RPM 160 Dual 18650. Obviously it does 160 watts. Tank holds 7.5 ml of e-liquid. Fires down to 0.1 resistance. Here's the stainless steel version. All right, it's got that carbon fiber thingy going on there. Your battery compartment, pop it open. That's where your batteries go in, marked A and B. Positive and negative is marked in white. Device itself feels to be plastic. All right, it's a plastic device. Everything feels plastic on here. All right, you have the fake carbon fiber sticker thingies here. Over here and over here is your airflow. This got massive amounts of airflow fire button, up and down button, micro USB charge port, the display, pod pops out, just simply pulling it off, being held by these magnets. All right, so the magnets are real nice on here. Just look at that, the way it just grabs. Pow very powerful magnets, and obviously your coil head, after you prime it, you're just gonna slip it right inside, just like that, and push it down. Fill port is right here on the side, a little arrow there, Put your finger right in like this, pop it open, and that's where you would fill from. On top, the drip tip is not removable, so non-removable drip tip. Let's take a look at the display. On top, we do have our battery percentage, which is like you can't barely see that. Wattage, voltage, resistance, puff counter, time that you press over here when you're firing, scrolling. You guys could see how it scrolls. One watt increments, keep it pressed. And 160 and no, yep, it does round robin. Now if I press the down button and fire button at the same time, right, puff clears, you could see that? All right, so you could reset your puff counter. Now if I do one, two, three, power lock. All right, so now if I press the fire button, nothing happens. One, two, three, unlocks. If I press the up and down button at the same time, okay, let go, let's see. See that wattage lock? And I go to press the fire button, you can still fire it. All right, so you could just lock these two buttons here and press the fire button and still vape away. And don't have to worry about your wattage changing by mistake. And obviously the power of the device on and off, five clicks of the fire button. And for a size comparison, I'll put it next to the Nugget GT, which is also a Pod Dual 18650 thingy. So you get a basic idea between the two. All right, the Nugget is shorter. And there you go, that was the RPM 160 by Smoke Smock. Let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close, RPM 160 by Smoke Smock. Mike, your thoughts on this one. Pros and cons, we will start off with cons. First con's gonna have to be no airflow control on this. It needed it because this has too much airflow. This is ridiculous. I mean, look at that opening. You could see my eye through there. That's huge. It's a huge opening for airflow. Too much. Now, if I cover with my finger one side and I take a vape. So much better. The flavor gets enhanced. When it's both sides open, too much airflow. And the flavor is like, eh. But as soon as I cover it, the flavor just intensifies. As soon as I cover one side. This needed some sort of plug system. Like the way Vaporesso did with their, um, what do you call it? Whatever their mods are called. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, the plugs that it has. This needed plugs to, to plug that airflow up. Now, 
Of course, you could scotch tape it, put a piece of scotch tape or black tape. Yeah, buddy. And cover up the hole, maybe cover up a hip, but we shouldn't need... It's 2020. Come on. We shouldn't need to be putting tape on our stuff to plug up holes for airflow. So it's not to be a con. Now, another thing, during the upper close, I said it was all plastic. I don't think it's all plastic. I think there's some metal on here too. So it's a combo of metal and plastic. Just wanted to clarify that. All right. Now, pros on this, we might even go into cons afterwards. But anyway, pros on this is going to have to be the fill port. The fill port is right there. So you don't have to pull your pot out. It's just simple blup up and, pill, and fill. Did I say pill? Blup blup and pill. I don't know what I was trying to say. But that's who you would fill from. It's not to be a pro. The device itself, the menu system, all that, just super easy device. There's no temp controls or anything. Now, why it does 160 watts? This is where I'm going to go with the cons. I don't get it. Are you smoke? Are you guys making a coil that's going to be a powerful coil? Is there some sort of RBA base you guys are making for this? That's going to slip right on top. Dual coil RBA to capitalize on the wattage. Why 160? We'll see. Hopefully, that would be nice if there was some sort of RBA base to go on here where I could do dual coils with this, something like that. Yeah, then you say, oh, maybe it's going to be a single coil. But yeah, but the single coil is still 160 watts. Smoke, are you guys putting an attachment thingy? Maybe we could put our own atomizers on there. I don't know anything. I haven't gotten any info from them on that. But it's a 160 watt pod mod. I think it's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. You know, so that's going to kind of have to be a con. But it might be a pro in the future if they do come out with all this stuff for it. Not sure. Now, uh, Type-C charging, it does not have. It's going to have to be a con. It's a micro USB. Should have been Type-C in my opinion. Uh, what else? The door on here feels good. I did my test to see if it opens up on me. Battery door feels fine. But, as usual, these types of battery doors are not my favorite. Drip tip on here is not a removable drip tip, but it's comfortable. It does the job. When I do press the fire button, the device fires right away. I'll give you an example. Press. You can hear that's like instant on there. All right, let's have a few vapes. Now I'm going to vape it. Obviously, I'm just going to keep my finger over that one hole there and have a vape. Nice. Nice clouds. Flavor is not the greatest in the world, but it's got good flavor when you do cover up that one hole. One more vape. Flavor rating for a sub-ohm coil thingy on this. I'll give them a 7 out of 10 for flavor. And for my final pro on a device, I almost forgot this one. 7.5 ml of e-liquid. Big pro. So, there you go. That was the RPM 160 by Smoke Smock. In the description below, no links to none of these. Not allowed. It's that YouTube policy thingy. Just my links, advocacy links, down below, as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe and keep on vaping.